here What's up everybody? Uh, I got my live round sound uh, 18 inch gator bar installed. Uh, it's two four and a half inch Polk speakers uh, with live round sound uh, custom modified tweeters to fit uh, with a amp and internal Bluetooth. Uh, it's pretty loud. I played it yesterday. Uh, just got everything installed. You can kind of see it here and uh, I've only had this for about a day uh, listening to it actually on the four wheeler. I do think it's pretty loud. Uh, we've had this wet sound bar, which in my opinion is pretty much the standard um, dunkable Bluetooth sound bar. Um, it's got four, uh, maybe two, two inch something speakers on it with two tweeters here and here. Uh, these things retail for like $600. Um, it's IP67 rated waterproof. Uh, and this one's also IP67 uh, rated waterproof, unlike most of the other ones that you see. Um, I think the wet sounds is a little bit sleeker looking. Uh, this is very boxy, uh, so that might turn some people off. Um, but to get the sound and to get the size of the speaker, um, you're going to have to have a taller sound bar. If that's something that you're looking for for a good price um, and you know not a whole lot of money and going to be tough and durable and stand up to the Honda deep it's a boat stuff um, I think it's a very good sound bar um, I downloaded uh, copyright free music so that I can play it for you guys and obviously it's not going to be the best you're not going to jam out to this music um, but just to show the difference between uh, the two different sound bars um, and be able to play this on YouTube and not have any kind of copyright infringement where I'm taking somebody else's music uh, that they claim um, this is the only way that we could do it I put them side by side um, each other same machine mounted the same way we're gonna stand back and we're gonna play one I'll let her play the wet sound first um, and then I'll turn on my live round sound uh, one thing that I want to point out to you guys is on this live round it is only $350 versus the wet sounds is 600 uh, but there is some features that the live round uh, sound bar is missing um, it has a simple on and off switch it is waterproof you know so that's good um, but it has the wet sounds has a Bluetooth connect here, you know, so you can unpair it From your device. You don't have to go into your phone. Uh, that's pretty nice Also, the wet sound bar has volume uh, buttons up and down on the sound bar also and That's pretty nice if you put your phone in like a dry box um, And it's hidden on this live round sound bar. You have no way of doing that because there's only an on and off switch and then you have to use your uh, mobile phone or like iPod or something with Bluetooth to connect to it to play your music. So a little bit of difference there, um, but for the price, it is pretty hard to beat, I think, especially if you like the way that it looks. And there's all kinds of customization options uh, that he can do on the name, on the actual box itself, on the soundbar box. And then the speaker covers can all be different versus you get the wet sound bar and it's all the same um but right now yeah we're gonna play them and uh you guys can tell me which one you think and uh we'll play both and then i'll turn the i'll do the live round sound second ashton if you want to start it <clears throat> is that all the way turned up okay that is max sound. We're only four feet or five feet from the wet sound bar. All right, so there you go. You can kind of hear the loudness of it. I think it's pretty loud, especially here. Let me get you to sit on it. It's pretty loud. Uh, talking over it is kind of hard when you're sitting right here. So there you go. Um, I like it. It's pretty loud. And this, this wet sound bar has lasted over a year being dunked in the water, so I really think that it's proven himself. Um, this gator sound bar is kind of a new one, but I think it's gonna... Uh, no, go ahead and leave it on. I'm gonna leave hers turned up, and then I'm gonna play this one. Yours turned up. All right. Yeah, mine sounds a little distorted. Uh, that's another feature. 
I can fix that though. Just go into your sound settings. You want to on your uh, sound on three, two, one, go back to it. Okay, on when I get at the one, we'll we're at, re ready. One, two, three, reset. Did you reset? I did. Okay, ready. One, Ow, two. Wait. Hit this button, left button. Ready. One, two, three. Here you do. Okay, I'm gonna do both at the same time. One, two, three. There you go. All right, they're both around at the same time. Leave my phone right here. Both are turned all the way up. Grab your phone. Oh shoot. Okay, I don't want to go too far. All right. I got mine. Yours is max volume, right? Yeah. Okay. If you guys can hear that from hers, that's max volume. Now I'm gonna turn mine on and turn yours down, baby. A little bit louder? Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, I I think as far as the loudness, I think this live round definitely wins. Uh, standing back here behind it. Wow. They're pretty, yeah, that was. I'm really trying to be really fair. sounds right now here comes the live round all right and that's only live round what do you think babe I think yours is louder how much louder I'm not sure yeah uh, Definitely enough if you're sitting on your toilet about kill you. Yeah, they're they're both pretty loud, especially up. Uh, I do notice that obviously the bigger speaker is going to have more bass. Um, I can feel it from even sitting on there, so I do like that. Uh, I think the design wise, the wet sounds looks better. Uh, one of the things that I was trying not to do was have a speaker that was too long um, over the radiator, since we have such a low pro style kit. Um, so that was one thing that I kind of looked for was to try to get a little bit shorter one. Um, I also like the color match, uh, but that was pretty close. I would say there might be a, a small difference in volume. Um, 
I'd have to do it a little bit longer testing different things with other four wheelers to see uh, but they're both pretty loud I don't think the uh, sound is going to be uh, loudness is going to be a as huge of a factor um, in picking um, but definitely for the money um, if this live round sound is something that you like you like the design of it the simpleness and the fact that uh, they're going to stand behind their stuff um, easier than the wet sounds is I think that'll definitely be a, a selling point along with the price point um, and the customization of these all right guys that wraps it up uh, for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get all my future videos um, leave a like and comment down at the bottom uh, if you could tell which one you think sounds the best or if it's your hard in money um, and you had the choice between the two which one you would buy and uh, look forward to reading you guys' comments and what you think good or bad um, about each two